All right, I told some people that I was gonna try to make a video of uh, this because um situation is I got a new short axle in for my GY6. Um, it's a GY6 150 motor with the Titan 171 big bore kit on it, but that this part doesn't matter. Um, the problem I'm having is swing this around. I don't. I have a leak, and I've already replaced the seal that's behind here. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, still getting fluid coming out of this hole here, and it's dripping down and getting on my wheel and flinging all over the fucking place. So um, I've already replaced the seal. So now I'm going to try to replace the axle. Excuse my dogs are a pain in the ass. Um, so I'm thinking this part right here, maybe slightly out around on the one that I have in there. So it may be like a little flat spot or something. I'm not sure. And it's causing it to come out of that little hole, which it comes out of here if it leaks past the seal instead of getting into this part of it and flinging all over your rear brakes, which they they suck let's not lie about it they're pretty bad as is just imagine if they were saturated with gear oil so anyway i run a uh composimo ankle biter on this um so first thing you got to do is take that off you have if you just have a cover on here you'll have 10 bolts they're eight millimeter on all these little holes going all the way around take that off pull your cover off then you're going to have your CVT up here and your clutch back here. These are 17 millimeter bolts. You're going to take those off. Get all that out of the way. And you'll be left pretty much this. And unless you have a kickstart, your kickstart will go in here. Um, you don't really need to be concerned with that. You can leave that there. Um, really don't even need to pull the CVT off. Just the clutch. And then uh, get that out of the way. Because you're not messing with anything up here. I just took it all off. Um, so after that, you'll have six eight millimeter bolts here. There's four here, and then there'll be two here, one here, one here. But I actually run a license plate that I made. I made a uh, bracket that has since busted, so I'll need to make a new one, which goes on here. So I took that off. Those two bolts have already been removed and what you'll need to do first before you take those bolts off if you're replacing the long axle to the short axle or you're just replacing short axle this is a 10 millimeter under here that's your drain plug make sure you take that off and let it drain out good no matter how good you make a drain there's still going to be some left in there so just be aware of that this bolt here is your fill um after you get everything put back together, you're supposed to fill it until it just starts to seep out of this hole. Then you know it's filled. So there's your fill, here's your drain. Make sure you drain it before you pull it because you're gonna have a fucking mess everywhere. Um, now, there's different ways to take this off. You can actually take the 17 off once you get these bolts off. Um, you may need to, most of the time, if you just hit it with, you know, lightly with the rubber mallet, it should break loose. You may need to, pry a couple spots to get that out um this whole piece this whole back piece you see it stops right here where the gasket is it's going to come out um just make sure you keep note that these bolts are different sizes um you can see a good example of that these two are also you know different size I'm trying to do this with one hand I don't know how good this fucking video is going to be, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so I've already cracked it loose. Um, just be careful because if you pull it out with this on, a lot of times these gears back here will pop out with them. I'm trying to get it out so they don't fall out. And doing it one hand is not the easiest thing in the world, so they're probably going to fall out. And there's that one. Yeah, they're trying to come with it, so I'm just going to take them all off. 
push this out of the way, as you can see. But that's all right, because they gotta come out anyway. And this is your transmission, okay? Let me push this out of the way. And this guy right here is gonna sit on your short axle. So it slides right in there, okay? So we need this off anyway. And as simple as it is, is if you have a long axle in here, you just pull it out. And uh, this is the seal I've replaced already. The seal right here. I've replaced this already. But it's still, still a lot of fluid on the other side of that. And on, there's a little space in here. And then there's a bearing on the other side of that. That your short axle sits on and spins on. Okay. But in between there, there's a little gap. And that's where the oil flings out of that hole on the back that I showed you. Instead of going past that and uh, flinging everywhere. So, hoping that once I put this guy on, this new one, my fingers are nice and oily right now, so I'm just going to lube that part up. It slides in easier. Fellas know what I'm talking about. And uh, simple as it is, just popping it in, and that's it. Now it's in there. So if you have a long axle, you're scared to change it yourself. It's really simple. Uh, the most important thing is um, just keep all the debris that you can. Like right now, this is a, a mess because I have. These are a bunch of parts from the uh, Composimo ankle biter, all the spacers, shit like that. So this is just a mess. Usually when I try and keep it clean, but I'm not really concerned about it right now because um, I've done this a bunch of times, so I know what I'm doing. Um, you do want to most of the times check your gasket for rips, tears. And you can see this one's got fluid all over because it's been leaking. Um, but I'm going to put it back on, seal it tight. If it starts leaking a little bit, I'll pull it apart. And I'll just CVT it. Make sure you get a CVT that is high temp. Um, because it doesn't, warm, it doesn't heat up that bad back here. But high temp is better. And it'll be uh, oil and gas resistant. And uh, you should get a nice seal. And you just have to put a thin bead right where... Right along this line right here. You don't want to put a shit ton on because then it'll goop up in here and fling around on your gears. Um, so, you to put your gear back on and you'll feel when it'll click in. And um, this isn't the easiest thing to do with one hand. first on the one I'm doing. This one here is gonna go on first. It goes on that bottom one right there in the bottom bearing. Just slide that in. Goes in, that's it. And this one goes on. Push it on. And then you can take your cover, and you'll have two hands, so it'll be a little easier. But uh, bearings back in there, that this shaft goes on. So you just have to kind of finagle it until it goes on. You can do this with one hand. There you go. And you have a couple of dowels. Um, what was that? There's a dowel in there. It's hard to see. It's uh, down in here. There's a dowel pin. And then there'll be one in the back right there. They help you line it up. Um, slide it on. And that's it. 
Um, of course, if you have a new gasket, you want to put your new gasket on. If you're using a gasket maker, put your gasket maker on. And uh, you're going to tighten up your one, two, three, four, and five and six bolts. And then that's ready to go. Then you can put your cover back on. Well, you can put your, you know, if you took your CVT off or your clutch off, go ahead and slide them back on with the belt. Make sure you put your CVT on right. Make sure you don't fuck up the splines. Um, that's it. Then you are ready to uh, add your your uh, trans oil right here. Take this out. Make sure your drain plug is tight. Make sure all your bolts are tight. Um, torque them down if you have a torque uh, torque wrench. If not, just use your best judgment. If you've been working on shit, you know how tight you're supposed to get shit. Um, and that's it. I mean, it's really simple to do. People stress over changing out that short axle, but it's it's really simple. And um, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's ready to go. Ready to get put back together. Uh, in this case, this whole thing, I'm gonna clean it again. Um, I use denatured alcohol. Shit's really good. Clean the shit out of it, and I'm gonna paint it with high temp paint. Um, it's gonna go black instead of you know this aluminum color because uh the rest of the met rock you guys haven't seen before is all black and we get around here so yeah it's going on that so i'm going to paint it black and uh hopefully i won't have any more gear oil getting flung all over the place so yeah there's the video 12 minutes of goodness for you all right you guys have any questions or comments drop them down below until next time peace